Hello, everyone. My name is Mira. My name is Anwar. My name is Nidhi. My name is Zoya. And we are students in the Maryland Family Literacy Program at the University of Maryland. Today, we are going to be talking about prefixes and suffixes. Prefixes and suffixes are the important building blocks of words. Prefixes are a group of letters that we add to the beginning of a word to change its meaning, and suffixes are a group of letters that we add to the end of the word to change its meaning. Knowing common prefixes and suffixes can help us understand the meaning of new words from words that we already know. Some of the most common prefixes are re, un, and over. Let's look how different prefixes can change the meaning of the word. At the base of this tree, we have the word done. We can see how adding the different prefixes at the branches of the tree change the meaning of the word done. For example, adding the prefix re to create the word redone means that you have to do something over again. For example, I made so many mistakes, my homework had to be redone. Adding the prefix un to create the word undone means that something hasn't been done yet. For example, my shirt looked messy because the buttons were undone. Adding the prefix over to create the word overdone means something has been done too many times. For example, my music teacher told me the holiday song Jingle Bells has been overdone and asked me to sing a different song for the talent show. Some common suffixes are apple, ed, and ing. Let's look at how these suffixes can change the meaning of the word. At the base of this tree, we have the word predict. Ubble is added to the end of the word and means can be done. Adding this to predict creates predictable, which means something that can be predicted. For example, the basketball game winner was very predictable. Ed is added to the end of the word to indicate past tense. Adding ed to predict creates the word predicted, which means someone made a prediction in the past. For example, Sarah predicted that the wizards would win. Ing is added to the end of the word to indicate present tense. Adding ing to predict creates the word predicting, which means that someone is currently making a prediction. For example, I am predicting a lot of traffic on the drive home. Let's use suffixes and prefixes to match these words to their definitions. First, identify the suffix or prefix in each word on the left side of the screen and circle it. Pause the video and take all the time you need to circle each suffix and prefix. Hopefully you pause the video. Did everyone circle the prefixes and suffixes? Great. Let's see if my answers match yours. Way to go, everyone. Now we can go to the next step. Let's think about each word's meaning and the meaning of the base word. You can look them up or ask an adult for help. See if you can connect them and find the full words definition. Pause the video and match to the best of your ability. Welcome back everyone. Let's go over the answers. Now that we have all the prefixes and suffixes circled, let's match the word to its definition. For number one, the prefix is re and the base is appear. So the correct definition is D, show up again, good job. For number two, the prefix is full and the base is care, so the correct definition is A, make sure to avoid danger, nice. For number three, the prefix is ill and the base is legal, so the right choice is F, not allowed. For number four, the suffix is LY and the base is quick, that means B, a fast pace at a, at a fast pace is his definition. Way to go. For number five, the prefix is D and the base is frost. So yes, the correct definition is C, to make something not icy. For number six, now this last one is tricky. Unfriendly has both a prefix un and a suffix ly, and the base is friend. So the definition must be E, not kind. You guys are amazing with this activity. You can all practice at home with your family to see who can come up with the most new words using prefixes and suffixes like we just did. For example, think of a base word like roughed, and then set a one minute timer while you think of new words using prefixes and suffixes like erupt or disrupt. There are also so many more. 
The winner is whoever can come up with the most new words. We hope that you enjoyed our presentation on prefixes and suffixes. Parents, please practice these skills with your kids at home because it's a great way to improve your child's reading and help them learn new words. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to visit our Facebook page, stay safe, wear a mask, and we'll see you next time. Bye.